All right, can you see that clearly enough? I might just pop it up here while we read. The balance sheet of Doggies Friends Proprietary Limited as of the 30th of June 2016 and 30th of June 2015 are provided below. We've got assets, liabilities and equity. And it says a summary of the income statement uh, for Doggies Friends Proprietary Limited for the financial year ended 30th of 16 is this. And we're given some additional information. It says prepare a statement of cash flows for Doggies Friends Proprietary Limited for 30th of you. 30th of June 2016 using the direct method. So the direct method means that we have to reconstruct our accounts and so let's go about doing that. Now we, we're trying to work out the cash flow that's going through each of these accounts. So the first thing I need to look at is I don't need to look at my cash because I've, I've done that one already because that's what we're trying to reconcile but it's my accounts receivable. Now my accounts receivable is an asset account, so the opening balance will be on this side of the ledger. And my, whoops, hang on, sorry, let me get that right. Let me start that on the line down. My opening is 22800 and my closing is 25500 Now what increases my accounts receivable is, that's right, sales, yeah. So that's going to increase my accounts receivable and it's 293400 So I can tick off that number there. So what I want to do is I want to be able to balance the account out. 22800 plus two, nine, three, four hundred equals three thousand, three thousand, three hundred and sixteen thousand two hundred. Three, one, six, two, zero, zero. And now I'm going to deduct this to find out what my cash figure was. So my, oh no, let's uh, correct that. <coughs> So I had three one six two hundred less two five five zero zero is two hundred and ninety thousand seven hundred. So my cash is two hundred and ninety thousand seven hundred. Now I'm gonna highlight that because that's gonna be going into my cash flow statement. So that's the first of my cash figures. So I can tick off that I've done my accounts receivables. Next one I'm going to do is my inventory. Oop. So let's just make this look nice and neat. So that finishes my account. So I've got inventory. My opening balance in my inventory is 56700 And my closing balance is 54000 Now what increases my inventory um, is purchases, but there's no way to work out purchases. But what decreases my inventory is my cost of sales. So my cost of sales, one, five, eight, four hundred. And if I balance that account off, I should be able to come up with what my purchases are. One, five, eight, four hundred. Plus five four two hundred and twelve thousand four hundred. That means that this has to come back to two one two four hundred. So if I deduct from that five six seven hundred, which is that figure there, I get a purchases of one hundred and fifty five seven hundred. That's purchase. And that ticks off my inventory accounts. Now, my purchases go through accounts payable, so that's the next thing I need to do.
So my opening balance on my accounts payable, we're over this side now because accounts payable is a liability account. And my closing balance is 10200 And what increases my accounts payable is my purchases. So I'm just going to take that purchases figure from here and pop it down there. So I've got 155700 That's my purchases. <coughs> And what do we get there? We get uh, plus one four one hundred. Get one hundred and sixty nine thousand eight hundred. One sixty nine eight hundred. So my cash that I now this is a cash payment will be the difference between there and there. So let's have a look. Minus 10200 equals 159,600. And that becomes a point of interest to me. So that ticks off all my... Alright. Now... I've now nailed um, three of the uh, biggest accounts. Now I'm going to look in, is there any more payables? There's no more payables. And have I got any more receivables? No more receivables. So I could almost indicate, I could almost say that my operating activities are nearly finished. Now the other figures that I'm going to look at is I've got my interest expense here. It doesn't have any interest receivable or interest payable, so I could assume that that was a cash amount. Because uh, there's no receivables or payables up here of interest. The other thing that I'm looking at is my tax expense. There's no tax payables up here, so I could assume that that was too a cash item as well. Now have I got any accrued expenses or prepaid expenses? No, nothing up there is accrued or prepaid. So I could look at my operating expenses here as also being a cash amount. So I've got three more cash items in my operating activities. So that now looks a lot better. So, one, two, three, four, five, yep. So I've got five items there for operating activities. Uh, now these are my investing activities. Um, I've got a long-term note, which is a financing activity. And these are my financing activities as well. Now I'm just gonna look at my further information and see if I can tick these off without after going through this reconciliation process here. So let's have a look. It tells me my cash dividends of 12900 were declared and paid. Okay, so that's told me paid. Okay, so that's a cash flow item there because it's telling me it's cash dividends. Alright, it says long term notes amounting to 15000 were paid. Okay, there's my long term notes. It's gone from 60000 down to 45000 well, that means that that is all that went through that account. So I can actually tick that one off. Ordinary shares were issued for 15,000 cash. So that means my share capital should have changed. And it's gone from 49,200 to 64,200. So that's 15,000 cash. So that's okay. So that indicates that I can tick this one off and this one off as well. Uh, what else have we got left? Land was sold at cost. So we sold some land. So I've gone from 30,000 down to 22,500. Let me just slide that down a little. From 30,000 down to 22,500. So I must have sold this land for $7,500. So my land was sold at cost. And that can indicate that I can tick that one off and that one off. Machinery was purchased for $18,000. 
Well, my machinery has gone from uh, 60,000 to 78,000. So that indicates to me that that's a cash flow item as well. So I can tick that one off and that one off. So the only thing that is left is my retained earnings. So let's just build that to make sure that this is the only cash movement that's gone through my retained earnings. So my retained earnings... Now my retained earnings is a liability account, so I had an opening balance of 40200 and a closing balance of 58800 Now what increases retained earnings is profit, so there's my profit figure there. So I've got profit of 31500 which will give me 71700 So if I'm going to balance the account off, I've got to come back to that. So, if, where's my on button? So if I've got 71700 less 58800 equals 12,900 which is that amount that's down there so so I know now that I've tracked all my cash flows so now I can say I've ticked off all my accounts that was my last account to tick off obviously my depreciation was 7,200 it's gone from 12,600 to 19,800 which indicates that I can tick off that item there. So I've ticked off every item in my balance sheet and my income statement. So now I just have to construct my cash flow.